Hi, Mike McGonigal here from McGonigal's Market. Every year our customers buy lots of fresh turkeys from us because they know they're always fresh, never frozen, never injected with any extra water, oil, or salt. All natural fresh turkeys make a huge difference in the flavor of your Thanksgiving feast. But the most common question asked around Thanksgiving is, how do I cook that big bird? So I'm here today to help you with some easy pointers that'll make your Thanksgiving dinner a breeze. We're gonna go through the process of cooking the turkey from start to finish. Liberally salt and pepper your bird and add in some poultry spice, a mix of sage and other spices. Add some ginger, garlic, and thyme. The amount you use will vary depending on the size of your turkey. And then add the secret ingredient, butter. Butter, lots of butter. Soak a cheesecloth in melted butter and cover the turkey in it. Add one inch of chicken broth to the bottom of the roasting pan. Then form a tent of foil over the turkey. Make sure the foil is open at the ends to allow heat convection. Bake your turkey at 325 degrees. We have some rough time estimates for the different sizes of turkey. Check them out on our website. About halfway through the cooking time, start basting with the pan juices. And about two thirds of the way through, remove the foil to allow the turkey to brown. Remove the turkey when a proper meat thermometer, not just the pop-up timer, reaches 170 degrees Fahrenheit at the thickest part of the thigh. Let it rest for 20 to 30 minutes before serving. And that's it. Just remember, for the best tasting turkey, it must be... Go!